Hi, I'm Dr. Kit Weathers, and it's time for the Root Tip of the Week. It's a very old trick, and even if you know how it's done, um, a lot of you watching the video will, will get the trick, but I'm going to show you a magic way to reveal the card trick that I think you'll like, even if you know it. It's one of the oldest tricks in the book, and we're going to legitimately do it. I do not know which card Sam is going to think of. All I know is we've got 21 <laughs> cards here, and he's now going to, in his mind, think of any card. Have okay. you got one? Mm -hmm. All I need to know is which row is it in. It's in this row. So we're going to do that little trick one more time, deal out the cards. And like I said, a lot of people know this trick, and if you do, that's fine. But if you don't, it's really a miracle. Once more, you're going to tell me which row it's in. It's in this row here, in the middle. Okay, now, most people would reveal the card trick at this point, which would be kind of interesting. But what I want to do is just start throwing some cards out, randomly card trick. Now, you don't know where your card is. I don't know where your card is. Nobody knows where the card is, right? But what I want you to do is just divide the pile in half. It doesn't matter. Okay, so we're going to do it that way. Now we have some other cards. Take your forefinger, and this time just draw a line through the cards. Okay. One more time. Same thing. It doesn't matter where you separate. It could be groups of two or three, whatever. Now this time, I want you to just put your finger on one of those cards. I don't care which one. Okay, now what we've done is tell me for the first time what was your card. It was the uh, Ten of uh, Diamonds. Ten of Diamonds. Wouldn't it be interesting if we turned it over and it was the Ten wow. of Diamonds? Now that's a good trick. To learn the secret to this and other magic tricks in this series, go to endorootcamp.com. Well, I really hope you enjoyed that uh, magic trick. It's absolutely one of my favorites, and I, I do it all the time. And even people that understand how that trick is done are fooled by the way we reveal the card. Uh, several root tips back, I told you that if you know a uh, hundred different ways to find a card, but only one way to reveal it, you only know one trick. But if you know one way to find a card and a hundred different ways to reveal it, you know a hundred card tricks. So, anyway, it's a great trick. I hope you'll go to the website and learn how to do it. It's a little complicated in the beginning to figure it all out, and it's going to take about six or seven minutes of your time, but I think you'll enjoy it. Now, today's root tip of the week. Actually, today, I'm going to give you hundreds of root tips. And I debated long and hard about revealing this source to you because I thought, uh, I've done about 40 root tips of the week now, and I thought, well, I may be running short of ideas, and I saw an ad for a book called Hundreds of Pearls. This is a, a really interesting book, and I looked at it, I thumbed my way through it, and I did find a lot of pearls in here I like. Found a few I don't agree with, but uh, this is put together by Michael Curtis, and I'll put the uh, email address and telephone number on the screen now so you can order it from you, him if you want. It's a great book. It's got a lot of great information in it. The book was about $97, and I paid for the book but Michael was kind enough to give me my money back. And that's not the reason that I'm showing you the book. But what I did want to do is from time to time, I will show you a, a pearl that I've gotten out of the book. And just to be fair, at the same time, I'll show you a pearl that I don't agree with. And we'll start that today. But uh, this is a lot of work. And when he went through and he got all of these hundreds, literally hundreds of pearls, there are definitely that many in here. I'll give you an example here. By the way, he's got a little summary that summarizes uh, the, the different pearls. Uh, finding uh, post-op tips here. He talks about salt and sugar sensitivity, and it says if you have sensitivity to candy, especially chocolate or salt, uh, it might be that there's a gap, an open margin, and a filling, and maybe that sensitivity should tell you that maybe the tooth doesn't need a root canal. Um, there's a ton of different topics in here, but I, I want to just pick on one that I don't agree with, and I'll tell you a few more that I do. In here, there's a quote from 
uh, videotape or an audio tape, I think, that I did several years ago. And I was joking about uh, fractured files. If you break a file, one of the things I said jokingly on the tape was, well, tell your patients that nickel titanium is a very expensive material and we can't afford to fill all of the canals with nickel titanium. Now, the quote at, right out of the book came out that said, uh, actually, I wish we could use titanium to seal all root canals. It's the same wonderful, very expensive material we use for dental implants. I did say that I wish we could seal all root canals with titanium, but I was joking. And that doesn't always come across uh, in the printed words. So please don't actually say that to your patients. Uh, from a medical legal uh, point of view, always tell your patient that the, uh, you just broke a file because it's not malpractice to separate an instrument in the canal, but it is absolutely stupid to not tell them because the statute of limitations start when the patient learns of the problem document the condition. I always write it in the chart and I tell the patient, we're going to keep an eye on this and uh, I'll make a little note in your chart and I have my assistant initial it so that we've verified that it's been written down in the chart and we'll just keep a lookout for it. Now I'll read the other things that uh, Michael puts in here. He says, document the condition of the canal when the fracture occurs and that you should do. Note down in your chart the length and width of the broken fragment that's left in the tooth. Uh, put down the reasons for leaving the file and any attempts you had for retrieval. Make a note if the patient was ver referred to a specialist, and if they didn't go, that's their problem. If you had the instrument broken and it went all the way out the end of the tooth, for example, probably you should send them to a specialist right away. And if you've got a rotary file and it screws in and gets stuck and, and binds in the canal, you're probably not going to get that out if it binds and tears off at the tip. And we've talked about broken files but uh, you should indicate progress in your charts and follow it up. So this is all good stuff. Anyway, but the point is today, this is a great book. For $97, I don't see how you can lose. What I want to do, though, is periodically, from time to time, in all fairness, I'll tell you about some of the pearls I've found in here, and then I'll tell you about some I don't like. But anyway, great book. Um, Order it up, $97. Uh, Michael Curtis, great guy, and I think you'll enjoy it. And that's my hundreds of tips for the week for this week. Enjoy, and I'll see you next time. Well, that's it for another Root Tip of the Week. I'm Dr. Kit Weathers, inviting you to join me at our very next Root Camp. So long for now. <laughs>